name is Michelle Blackwood and today I am so excited because I have a new recipe for you. It's my curry chickpea butternut squash or chickpea curry butternut squash. Oh, if you're like me, I love curry. I make curry all the time and I, I'm always coming up with creative ideas of recipes for curry. And today, nonetheless, I have this amazing flavorful recipe and come along join me as I prepare this bottom
20 minutes and it's soft so this recipe is one of those quick and easy recipes that you can make for a midweek dinner if you're tired and you're not in the mood for cooking this recipe is just quite easy to prepare in half an hour should be fully cooked and ready to go on your dinner table so I love when it comes on like the end of summer close to fall because we get to harvest a lot of pumpkins squashes different kind of squashes and this is what I like is last year I literally had a butternut squash that lasted me for the entire winter and it was um, spring I was still eating butternut squash so you can purchase a lot just keep the keep them in a cool dark place and they'll last for a long time next I'm going to so you have your butternut squash and it's ready so next I'm going to next we're going to saute our veggies and today I'm going to share with you if you are not using oil how you can use coconut milk to saute your veggies or you could use water so I'm going to add a little coconut milk to the pan and we're going to bring it once it gets heat next we're going to add our onions chopped onions and so the coconut milk has fat it is the medium for sauteing that I'm using so you're just gonna saute your onions and like I said you could use vegetable broth as well you can use vegetable broth or water perfect instead of your coconut milk but I love to add coconut milk to my curries because guess what it tastes great <laughs> It tastes great. I can't get around it. It's not all curries taste good. <laughs> so I'm just gonna cook it until it softens and it has released all the fragrance. Smells amazing. Taking me back home to Jamaica. <laughs> that island smell of the coconut milk can never go wrong. Adding some garlic. adding some ginger I love to add ginger as well to my curry not only is it good for your digestive system it's good for digestion it's also good flavor to your curry it's just amazing I like to add green onions and see you're just cooking this it smells good in here guys it smells absolutely yummy <laughs> if yummy was a scent <laughs> next I'm adding thyme today I'm using dry thyme um, cumin paprika and turmeric and I'm adding some two tablespoons of curry powder smells yes it smells yummy 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 for my tummy <laughs> smells really good and if you want you can add a little bit more coconut milk and let it cook and all those flavors come together and cook the curry your curry won't be raw <laughs> just cook it Mmm, smells so good in here. <laughs> and the reason why, I mean, I love turmeric because it's great. It's anti-inflammatory. Ginger is also anti-inflammatory. So it's good for your circulation. Very good for the heart. And it keeps the blood thin. So if you're on blood thinner, 
be careful with eating too much turmeric or ginger. It smells good. So you're just gonna keep cooking this and as it starts to get brown, darker in color, that's what you want for it to cook. See, it's getting dark. The onion, the garlic, the ginger, that's an amazing combination. And your scallion uh, or green onion and thyme, perfect base for a Caribbean, a Jamaican style curry, especially Jamaican style curry. That's what we love, that's our base. And that's what makes our curry unique. And also our powder, I'm using a Caribbean powder, makes it unique. See the colors coming together? Next, I'm gonna add my chickpeas. And you're just gonna stir it and use it to deglaze the pan and it smells so good it looks so good and next I'm going to add my butternut squash and you can cut them smaller but just be mindful that they'll cook fast and go soft really fast actually I should have cut them a little bit smaller but what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably mash some of it to form extra sauce, gravy. So this is it. And next I'm going to just add, I'm going to deglaze the pan. Add my coconut milk. And I'm going to add half cup of water. And if you have any scotch bunny pepper, now would be the great time to add a scotch bunny pepper or some cayenne pepper, but it's totally optional so you can leave, leave it out. So there it is, ready saucy. And if you want, like I said, I could add extra liquid to it, but I'm just gonna let this cook down. I'm gonna bring it to a boil and then let it cook down. Cause it cooks in no time since i'm using cooked chickpeas by the way it's basically ready all we're cooking is your butternut squash doesn't take long to cook butternut squash so i'll be back shortly 